Hey Howard, you got it running. Here's an overview of the weirdness. You've got a PCV valve should go right there where that silver tube coming out of the back of the valley pan is. That tube goes all the way down and just vents. So that's a bit of weirdness. You have only one air conditioning hose. The inside parts of the air conditioner are all there, but it's missing the air conditioner compressor, which goes on a different bracket here. I've got that bracket for you. And it's missing one of the hoses. You'll probably want to make new hoses anyhow. In addition, it's missing the um, condenser and dryer that you'll need in front of the radiator. It's missing a fan shroud that's easily found. You can get those new. Um, it's missing heater hoses. You can get these cores new. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably just do that. Uh, get that running uh, proper before I send it out to you if you decide to buy it. It probably could use a rewire. As you can see, these wires are 42 years old, give or take, on this 80. But everything seems to work okay. Uh, turn signals don't work because of the cam in the steering wheel is busted. Just a look at the interior from the right side. All that air conditioning bar is right there. It's different in the 80 than it was in the 79 and prior. Um, Cool interior with the kind of tan bark, not tan bark, but the plaid and that shag carpet. The uh, seats look real good. You got a center console, a little tweaked, probably can be retweaked, and it needs a lock on the front. You got these awesome shifter knobs. Now, we're not certain about that shifter arm for the, the uh, transmission on the left there. We think that was. Uh, something we think this transmission engine came out of a different vehicle we believe a school bus or a larger truck uh, so they added this extension we have a scout to a t19 shift handle or shift lever we can throw in uh, tilt column which is kind of nice you don't see those very often the steering wheel is pretty cool it's really good shape headliner is in amazing condition no sags or anything it's real flat as you can see Rear interior is in good shape. Windows are all clean. We've got uh, some hardware issues for the latches, but as long as the latches are there, this, this hardware is available and I've got some. I'll fix those up for you. The top is in amazing condition. You can see there's no rust in the top whatsoever. And in fact, I don't believe the top has even been off this vehicle because in order to get the top off, you have to cut the uh, weather uh, stripping here and here. As you can see, it's not been cut, it's whole, and that's a factory seal right there that usually falls out and goes missing when they take the top off for the first time. Armrests are all there. The windows have kind of a cheesy tint film and this looks to be plexiglass but that is just flat glass and it's easy to replace in fact i've got some uh this is the worst part of the vehicle back here mostly surface rust you've got some holes in here and here here and here so there's a little bit of cancer but and of course we haven't pulled the, the carpet out of it either but you can see kind of back there in general this is an incredibly good condition truck the tailgate is real straight. Normally it rusts through on the ends. You can see there's no rust on the lift gate for the top, no rust on the hinges where they typically get rusty and fall apart. A little bit of surface rust over here on this side of the tailgate, but in general, this is a really, really clean dry country scout. We're not certain what's going on with the paint. We think it was originally silver and they threw a clear coat on it and didn't prep it uh, before they did, so it's kind of flaking off. Probably a little bit of you know, real fine grit would make this look real nice. Uh, a little bit of wet sanding, time and effort kind of thing. Unfortunately, the door pans have been cut for speakers. Um, you can still find door pans. Uh, they just come right off with a couple bolts. This is a little, a little, bit, uh, a little bit aftermarket there. But the doors on the ends look solid. They rust out usually. A little bubble of rust right there. 
but look how solid that dog bone or that dog leg there is. That part either has to be custom made if you need to replace it or buy it for about a $250 charge. And it's real solid in the door jams and up in there, real solid. Again, door jams, real, real solid. Good condition vehicle here. Uh, the uh, vent windows, you can probably use a rivet right there. Get that done for you if you decide on it. Just all the little things. Could use some new rubber. That's available. It's not inexpensive, but it's not hard to install when it gets to you. I've got a couple, couple sources for that. Uh, that's really about it. Just a really just best of a lot that I bought down in Tucson for certain. And uh, I think you'd be real happy with it if you decide you want it, Howie. Let me know.